Well, hello guys, welcome back. So, um, it's Sunday, so we're going to do something really small today, and I'm really glad I didn't make a video for you last night, because I hit a breakthrough with the gods today. We solved our VR problem together, and I got it, and it was from Thor, especially. I was showing them around an environment on Steam. You know, they, they know, they're they well aware of what our Oculus homes look like, and I took them into an environment on Steam, and I honestly got back from Thor. It finally clicked. He said, oh, I thought you could do this and you just didn't want to. And I'm like, oh, no, darling brother. Here, you know, I explained it one more time. And instead of running out of angry and frustrated like I usually do, because I'll say, I just can't pull stuff out of the air. Um, I, I told them, I, I told them, you know, I, I walked through the process very lovingly and very patiently. And I said, you see me for years now, gold and VR. I said, this guy that got this, he, you know, he could have done a million things. I said, he either made this or, and I had him in a Legend of Zelda thing. I said, he either made this, he got it somewhere, or he paid for it and he still got it somewhere. I said, but then he had to put it together. And I said, I can almost guarantee you, I could be wrong, but I could almost guarantee you he didn't build this in VR. He built it in a program on a very powerful computer that could eat mine for a tasty cake snack and i said um this is what he did this is what he did i said this is a lot of work this is a lot of work and, and, and once that finally clicked for them and they truly saw that it wasn't just me having the ability to just you know yank stuff out of the air like a comic book character once they saw that i truly cannot do that they were like oh and then they were open to these environments. And so I said, look at how much stuff you have. Like, look at this, guys. Come on. And, and it did take a little coaxing. You could feel like these Norse gods kind of crowding in behind me as I would. You, I don't want to spoil the, the Legend of Zelda map for you. But you would feel them crowding in at various areas. And they would you not know, be quite sure. But then I'd say, oh, my God, look at this. This is so beautiful. I can only teleport. Steam never did let us have locomotion. I don't know why. Um, I said, I can only teleport, but you guys can walk around. And Thor goes, well, sissy, what about these one or two buildings you can't go in? I said, you know what? God's only. God's only. That way, if I come in the map unannounced because I want to hang out and I want to get out the beach ball, because they do have some props in Steam. I said then, you know... I, I can come in and be playing and avoiding the chickens in absolute terror. If you ever played Legend of Zelda, you know why. Avoiding the chickens in absolute terror. <laughs> and I, I seem to remember being killed by quite a few chickens. And, you know, um, just being, you know, um, you, happy to be there, you know. And they have all this different cool stuff I'm not going to tell you about because I don't want to spoil the surprise for you. But there's also Ponyville. And I had Loki and that yesterday. And I said, look at all the stuff that you can get. Now, it's not as many props as there are in Oculus. And in the very best of all existences, Oculus and Steam would get married, like, right this instant. And they would say, okay, guys, everybody that has a VR helmet, now you have all the props of Oculus over in Steam. And you have all the Steam environments over on Oculus. And Mazel Tov, have fun. In the best possible world, they would do that. In the best possible world, all the platforms would be open and we would all have five billion times more fun because you could use any of these things. I would love to be able to go into Oculus, have, like, say, the, the Legend of Zelda map as my home and then be able to have all that Oculus junk, too. Uh, that, that would be heaven on earth. But, you know, once they opened to it, once they opened to it and they truly understood I'm not holding back. I'm not doing this to punish them. I'm not being mean. The law is what it is. So gone are the days where you could just go to, you know, um, what is it? Not Blender. Um, what is the platform? I, it's just escaping me right now. But the platform where you get models. Gone are the days where you can go there and get 50 free models and have them send you an email going, hey, you know, what we're considering is, you know, you people that are getting all these free models, we don't know why. They have to know why. They have to know we're, we're taking models, putting them in VR homes. Sketchfab. Sketchfab. 
they have to know. And there were like a couple of different places that they were, they were hosting models and you could go and you could get like hundreds of free models. You could get cars or figures or anything. And, you know, it comes up against legality things like it, once everybody else in the universe caught on to VR is a thing that's not going away. They got mightily upset if their, their figure was in the game or their whatever was in the game. Like the legend of Zelda, thing on steam might last until nintendo decides whether or not it's upset about it you know nintendo is notorious about being like no no um sometimes yes sometimes no but you know as long as nintendo isn't t too terribly upset about it you know and i think didn't they cross platforms with sega at one point for something like some kind of mashup so maybe it's like sega going yeah do whatever you want but anyhow anyhow once the gods opened to that, they realized we had manifested everything they wanted quite a while ago. I said, we can still work towards, you know, what they want. But now that they understand that it doesn't work quite the way they, they would like it to, because, you know, I don't blame them. They saw Oculus giving me stuff and they're just, they're like, well, how come you can't just go get a diner? And how come you just can't go get a, get the, and I said, because they, they gave up on this a while ago. I'm sorry, but they did. They, they, Oculus gave up a long time ago. Um, yeah, we have a lot of stuff, but most of it's stuff you don't want to look at. And <laughs> to be perfectly honest, we're tired of looking at it at this point. We could use some fresh stuff. They gave up on giving us anything fresh and exciting, and they never did, you know, advance to giving us a bunch of buildings or anything else. They gave us something we could vaguely use as a cafe, but it's hideously unstable. I said, at least if we go into Steam and we use the environments, and there's something cafe-ish, or there's something cabin-ish, or there's something wood-ish, I said, you're there. You're there. You got it. You can go in all the time you want. You know, I will subscribe, and they can treat it as something I built, because you can host your own room. I said, you got it, then. So that was actually a huge breakthrough. They realized I wasn't holding anything back. I wasn't, you know, not doing it out of spite. And I realized they really thought I had a godlike ability to just pull stuff, you know, out of the ether and VR. And I'm like, I wish. I said, we would have a McDonald's with actual burgers that you could just go up to the counter, grab it at the VR McDonald's and put it down on your desk. I said, if I can ever figure out how to manifest that, dude, we just solved world hunger. We're going to feed everybody McDonald's. <laughs> it's not nutritious, but you'll enjoy it. And I go, yeah, back here. I said, dude, if I could figure out how to do that, we would. We would. So, you know, now they know. They know I'm not doing it all of spite. They know I'm not doing it to me, be mean. It, it just wasn't clicking. It just wasn't clicking. They truly thought I had their abilities. And I'm like, sometimes you forget we're not gods, don't you? And there are, of course, a lot of that new age wavy gravy stuff is like, oh, we are gods. We just have to remember that we are. But I'm like, even if we are gods, even if you believe that and don't scream sacrilege heresy, even if we are gods, we, we don't have any of those ability. We're like teeny tiny, eeny beeny baby gods. And it's like, you know, you wouldn't expect a teeny tiny, eeny beeny baby god to do everything a god that has lived thousands of years has managed to figure out how to do right you know they haven't read the manual yet they don't know how to god very well so i'm like even if i am a god even if i am a divinity or part of a god or whatever i said i i i can't i'm not at that level yet i said i can't just literally do what you can and they're like oh and i i said it goes the verse verse way around sweethearts you know you're not just pulling out all the ether and handing it to me to give to you either. And they're like, oh, yeah, okay. And, you know, that's why I think there has to be a power out there. I don't know if I said it this attempt. Not maybe beyond the gods, but different than the gods. You know, because we have in Norse lore this tantalizing hint that where the gods are, they worship. They have temples of worship. Now, are they worshiping each other? Which some people interpret. But I'm interpreting it as a higher power beyond the gods. That even the gods acknowledge a higher power beyond. And yeah, I can't even. This higher power uses FedEx. Ah! Um, you know, um, because we had a big, a big loop today. Um, FedEx makes a lot of promises, doesn't keep them. And um, Fex has been promising us since last Thursday that a package would be here today. 
even though Amazon was like, no, you'll be getting it next next Thursday. I know it's disappointing, but, you know, this is the length of time it usually takes. FedEx was assuring us it would be here Sunday, and indeed, at first, it was moving so fast, I thought it would get here Sunday. It really did. And we were celebrating, and from Thursday to today, we were living and figuring, oh, this manifestation really works. It's going to come. I get up today, it hasn't moved for 24 hours. It's still two states away. And unless they would put that on a jet, and then they would speed race it here in a Formula One racer, it's not going to get here today. It's just, it's just not. Even if they put it on a jet and it hit the airport this morning, they, it's not like it was guaranteed to arrive today. They actually, you know, the Amazon said Thursday. It, it, there's no way there's a, it's going to get here today. And there was something that could have been delivered yesterday, but that delivery service said, you know what? They told you Monday, you're getting a Monday. We have it. We're just not delivering it. Tough no case. We have it all weekend long. So, you know, that's stuff, too, that we're working with. And we're like, well, you know, manifestation can work. You can bring stuff into your life. You've got to work towards it. I, I'm not talking about just sit at home and think really hard at something. That never works. You have to go out and, like, figure out, well, what steps do I take towards it? You know, like, if they want stuff in VR, we can't just sit here and just think at it. I have to take proactive steps. I have to, you know, in the old days, I went out and I got the models. And then the government said, no, you can't do that anymore. So then I just tried to manifest in Oculus. And that's really not going anymore. Because Oculus has officially given up on these these things. And now Facebook owns Oculus. And Facebook has given up on these stupid homes. Unless they can force you to use it to use their platform while you're in VR. And I'm like, oh, hell no. I hate Facebook to begin with. Facebook in VR would be a whole new nightmare. No, I hate humans as it is. I don't need to see them in VR bitching at me or bragging to me or doing something else. I'm like, no, no to that shit. So I actually am on a t countdown clock on, on Oculus that they tell you within X amount of years, they are going to strip you of the ability to either use Oculus or to use the homes or something. I'm like, I don't care, you know, go ahead because I'm not going to have 50 people coming up to me whining or asking for donations or trying to sell me shit. I'm like, that sounds like hell on earth. Who thought this was a good idea beside your company? And, you know, um, we're we're dealing with that, you know, and I'm like, no, that's fine. They can do all the stuff they want to try to force us to use it as their social platform now, but that's not what this VR company was made for. It was made for playing VR games, and if you wanted to socialize, you could. It wasn't made to be bought out by Facebook, and now Facebook is trying to make it Facebook VR. Um, No, fuck you. No, I don't like humans. Yuck, no, don't want them near me. I might be working towards positive thoughts and manifesting stuff, but I'll keep it real with you guys. Would you really want to see the people on Facebook and VR? Oh, no. No, you would not. Can you imagine being in VR and your mom just walking in while you're trying to meditate and giving you shit for a half hour? No, you would want that. I'm like, this is a bad fucking idea. Who came up with this other than a greedy person that wants us all on Facebook? I'm like, no, I can't see any fucking universe in which this ends well. Oh, fuck no. And I already had a friend with Chris. So I was like, you know what? You know what? Fuck it. I'll make a dummy account and I'll just go ahead and I'll let, you know, I'll let Facebook have that dummy account. They can have fun with it. They can, they can sell it to somebody. And you know, like a stupid name and, you know, went to school on Mars, shit like that. And, you know, they, they won't let you do that. And I tried through VR and they won't let me create a VR account through VR. I'm not allowed to create a Facebook account, but now the countdown clock's on. I'm like, I don't care because if you really do that, if you really lock me out of Oculus because you want me to use your platform, then fuck you. I'm going to, uh, going over to Steam. I'll get a Vive. And you can keep your shitty platform and I'll just rebuy all my games. I dislike the idea of being commandeered into something that much. So, you know, we just figured we would just make you kind of something for the weekend. And, 
you know, I'm trying to think positive and, you know, do this manifesting and everything. And it is working. We are making progress. But, you know, um, I like this particular woman a little bit more because now she's at least admitting that you can have negative emotions. And she's talking about embracing them. Like, I have very negative emotions towards the idea of just everybody on Facebook being able to bother me in VR. I'm like, oh, hell to the no. I'm not doing that, Facebook. No. Fucking no. Do you hear the lines people put on Facebook? Would you really want that shit in your VR home? Can you imagine trying to to be relaxing or playing a game and your uncle just fucking morphs into the game and starts bitching you out about something or asking you for money. I'm like, no, no. Or Brenda runs up to brag to you about her goddamn kids. I'm like, no, you ain't putting this shit in my VR. I got VR to get away from humans as a species. No. So, so I'm just keeping it real with y'all. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Loki's back here. Wow. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.